Now today I'm just going to do a quick demo on um, filling up some larger gaps. Now what I'm going to do is cork these gaps around the top of the posts. I've obviously cut the sheets just a little bit too big and um, I've got to fill the gaps. So if, what you want to do, um, because the cement sheeting has been painted once, there's no real need to uh, tape on the sheeting itself. I'm just going to put some tape around the top of the post. Just make sure you do it nice and neatly so when you rip the tape off later um, you don't rip off rip out all the uh, the corking. So now when applying it um, the main thing is when you're applying it obviously you're going to have to build it up in there a bit is actually apply it against the post. Um, if you try to get it in from this way it's just going to sit on top of the, the cement sheeting but if you go from the post it's actually going to gather and accumulate on the actual post itself so it'll actually give it something better to bond onto. So I'm going to screw it up in there as best I can. I'll try not to do it too messy. So if you put plenty up there, at least you know it won't fall out. So now all I'll do is just get a small scraper. Now the scraper is nice and clean. That's probably one of the key points is to make sure the scraper is clean. And drag along like so. I've got a rag here. So I'll wipe the, wipe the, the scraper clean then do the other side. Then on the corner, wipe out like so. Now, this is only a, an, an acrylic sealant, so it will slightly shrink. So tomorrow, I'll have to come back and redo these again. Um, but the second fill should be fine. As I said, you can use a polyurethane, um, a little bit harder to do but it doesn't shrink. So depending on what you're doing and what materials you've got on hand, in this particular case I've got an acrylic sealant, so I used it on this particular post. So that's just been a bit of a demo on how to fill some larger gaps, um, how to cork some larger gaps.